people that watched our pirate board campaign you may be wondering hey why didn't that you know ever actually conclude well the reason is because everyone died of mega scurvy and they all shit themselves and scratched their own skin off and their teeth fell out and you know they had a lot of discharge and skin slopping so we that all happened off screen and everyone's dead and everyone that they ever knew is dead and um, <laughs> so now we're gonna move on to something. Else. Now we're gonna move on to something else. This is Frontier Scum, which is very similar to Morkborg. It's made by Carl Druid, who is a a guy who developed a lot of um, auxiliary classes for Morkborg, like the Cursed Skinwalker and some others. Uh, but anyway, this is a cowboy themed uh, world that we're gonna be playing in. It's gonna be like an acid western. Um, he specifically mentioned, like, part of the motivation for making this. It was inspired by the movie Dead Man with Johnny Depp, which is, like, a weird acid western. But I also think of, like, Rango, um, mm-hmm. if you've ever seen that. Or, like, uh, The Lone Ranger was really weird and kind of like an acid, you know, western type thing. Hell yeah, Lone Ranger. <laughs> if you don't little, know, uh, you Fear and Loathing popped in there you're in loading kind of yeah, yeah a little bit uh, yeah way, still, I mean, yeah, I think. West. yeah yeah a similar feel yeah i mean like <clears throat> kind of like weird you know deserty type bible goes west would be another uh uh wild yeah. wild west with will smith <laughs> is a great example uh briscoe wow. county jr one of my favorites yeah briscoe county jr yeah tombstone um tombstone yes um you know or there are a number of other, just any kind of fucking weird, or or uh, or maybe even gross in some um, in some, you know, senses of the word. Um, but that's mainly just not because of uh, a quality this game actually has. It's just that I have a tendency to make things kind of disgusting, um, just inherently. Whereas I'm I'm a disgusting because he likes I'm stuff like that. Person. Yeah, fluid pervert. Stuff. And I'm a pervert, so you know, it's, you gotta stay away from me. Virginian. Come here, creep. Uh, but anyway, so everybody uh, who is playing in this game, you're going to be playing an outlaw of some sort. Um, you're wanted by the law for various crimes, which I think everyone probably has already rolled for, right? Yeah, grave robbery. I believe maybe. so. Grave robbery. What was that, Corey? What'd you say? I believe so. Let me look. Mine's very hodgepodge. Um... Yeah. And everyone should have a horse except for Corey and Chris. Because Corey has a dog and Chris is an animal himself. Oh, really? He's a cow. Yeah. So he doesn't get a gun or a horse. But What's it na- what he was does it have more HP Roomba? than everyone. Roomba? Zoom. Zoom. What was the Zabu. name of that? Oh, Zabu. I didn't. Zabu. Oh, I'm wanted dead. <laughs> like for... Roomba. I'm wanted Roomba. dead yeah. for unionized robbery. Oh yeah, nice. unionized robbery. You were getting right. Yeah, we talked about that. So you're getting together, like I guess, a group of uh, other robbers. Robbers. The robbers to form a union. Uh, I like that. You're meeting <laughs> in a organized place, not to do the robbery, but to. Form a group of people to set up the standards by which robbery will occur. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Great. Yeah. Excellent. Yeah. Kevin, <laughs> you wearing a wig? <laughs> it's a... I'm wearing a hat, sir. <laughs> That's what okay. I'm imagining his character's wearing now, of course. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. yeah powdered well, that, wig, but dyed armad- black his... charcoal. Yeah. My hat, I didn't have a taxidermy armadillo around my apartment, so this is as close as I can get. There you yeah, go. That would be really cool. What is that? A Nutria hat? Is that real fur or is that faux fur? Uh, it's definitely faux fur. Faux fur. Yeah, it's faux fur. Faux fur grays. <laughs> <laughs> That's the guy. <laughs> His best role, I think, in any movie or any television show 
of you know anything he's ever done is in the was it Predators where he was like secretly a fucking serial killer. Yeah, and like, well, that's pretty like, Why cool. Is this guy here, this guy's not a warrior. And that was and weird. Like, I'm really a serial killer, and you've been poisoned. You know, that's what he does. <laughs> And then they're like, I can't move. I've been poisoned. And he's like, Yeah, I know. I told you. you know, or something along those lines. He's like, That's why I'm here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Because nobody ever, oh, which Walton Goggins is in that movie, by the way. He's a real piece of work in that movie. He used to play a lot of like really unsavory characters. Uh, like in, well, I mean, even more so than like Baby So Billy. does Topher Grace. So <laughs> <laughs> They're those guys you gotta watch them. They're a little rough around the collar, even if they might not look it, you know. Um, never. Uh, you never know. But oh, uh, one of the things about this game, about this uh, setting, I think is really interesting is that instead of having like a shield in Morkborg, which you can use to absorb all damage from one attack, like it say, you know, a giant monster is going to step on you and there's no way for you to get out of it. Basically you're just going to be crushed. Um, unless, you know, you think of something and you have a shield, you can like use the shield to like take the brunt of the damage and then you like escape unscathed. But instead of a shield in this, you have a hat. And whenever you use your hat um, in that particular way, you have to, uh, <laughs> roll to see if your hat is severely damaged and if it is you can't use your hat in that way again you can only use it that way once per session i think if i remember right um just like oh i started to say earlier i think i don't remember if it was off camera or not but we were talking about omen which which jordan you had never played more for so i'm not sure or we yeah, yeah. You have that, you? yeah do we have omens like how does that work now you have aces instead uh, Jordan, have you ever How played I... a Morkboard game before? Uh, so I played one one shot that Chris ran for us a few months ago. The cocaine bear one. <gasps> okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, the cocaine bear one, right? It was it? Yeah, one? the cocaine bear one. Yeah, that's so awesome. Uh, well, do you remember how like omens worked? Like you could use them to like reroll. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, so everybody is going to, instead of having like multiple omens like you normally have in Morkboard, everyone has one ace, which is kind of like the same thing, except for okay. it's, it's more it's more limited. Uh, you can only use it to re-roll. You can't use it to deal max damage or to lower the DR of okay. um, a test. Uh, so you can I only use it to re-roll. forgot to use that shit anyway. And if anyone rolls a natural, anybody in the group rolls a natural one, everyone loses their ace. But, oh my fuck. but if Ever? anyone rolls a natural 20, everybody gains an ace. So all right. I all can right. do it. I can do it. Okay. I got it. I'm good with that. Oh. But you can't uh Kevin just rolled a nat 20. You can't uh <laughs> you can't like hoard them. Um they basically like reset after the session is over, and then you you know have to uh right. have to See how okay. many you get the next. Um, but anyway, cool. uh, this is similar to very similar to Morkborg. The only other thing I think that's really that different, uh, well, two things you have backgrounds instead of classes, which you don't get as many cool things as you typically do with like a Morkborg class. Um, but you have a lot more skills and random items, which I think is more fun. Pretty versatile, um, and, yeah. And then the other thing is when, um, shooting is different. Um, if if it's like if someone's far away, you roll to shoot to see if you hit. But if someone is like, say maybe like 10, 15 feet from you, you just hit with the gun. You just you just oh, hit. Them. Really? Um, nice. Unless they use their hat, because the enemies can use their hat too if they have a hat. Sure. Uh, but if you're in main, but here's the interesting thing: it's like it has to be a sweet spot where it's like an automatic hit. Because if you're in melee range, if you're like within five feet. It's not an automatic hit. You have to roll. Right. I agree. Uh, with so I'm gonna be mostly sorting anyway. Yeah, sorting. And not sorcery. No. I'm, I'm the sorting a hat. hat. Yeah, you're sorting. Yeah, sorting things out. <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh also there are conditions. Um, like being poisoned or exhausted or 
maybe you're damp because you fell in some water, or maybe you pooped your pants or something. You know, it's just like a <laughs> probably did. Of <laughs> yeah. your, your and if that's the case, like you can't heal with a rest, you can only heal with like special items and what have you. So you don't want to go miserable. But usually, like if you are miserable, if you have the miserable condition, um, most of the time, whatever, uh, like the the cure for that is, is usually pretty basic. Like if you're drunk, it's just time. You just have to live time, you know, just like in real life. Uh, or but well, water in a nap. Or, yeah, yeah, exactly. Or if you're miserable yeah. because you're a flyer, you will be slightly less miserable if you're not on fire anymore, but then you're still going to be miserable <laughs> while you're guilty. Um, you know, these are just some examples of, of things. <laughs> Can be pretty much anything, um, but anyway, we're going to be playing this adventure. It's called the Organ Rail, um, or it's Escape the Organ Rail, uh, where our characters have all been captured and are being processed um, in a faraway town. So I think now would be a really great time for everybody to introduce themselves. If you want to, if everybody wants to talk about what, who their characters are, what their motivation is. Um, you know, what have you. So, I'm just a cow. And, uh, I'm being sent to jail because I murdered my child cow. Um, mm -hmm. but here's the thing. So the child cow was definitely going to be the Adolf Hitler of cows. Of cows? Oh, man. That was, was, it born with, was it born with, like, some, Hitler? like a color, like, under its nose like you know like have you ever seen <laughs> hitler like hitler yeah. cats like cats that look like hitler because they have a little like their their spots or stripes or whatever is it like that was that what the baby was like or did it you just have a feeling but it, but it was more than that mm -hmm. so it was foretold by the sisterhood of the cow oh my god i love that <laughs> so, <laughs> so the process is good so it you know it was all you know by the books and on the up and up um, yeah. but the farmer saw that and it's like, well, this cow's got to be processed and sent to jail now. Yeah. So, he didn't You're know. going to jail, he cow. <laughs> I like that. I like that idea. Agreed. George, George what about your character? What uh, is your character's name and motivation and political uh, agenda? Up my sheet. And is your character associated with Chris as Cal, or or is this your first time meeting? Um, what's the thing? That's a good question. That is a really good question. And maybe what? that's a question that everyone should answer, whether you all know each other or not, whether you, you know, are just all thrown in the same situation. Okay, bring your phone out here and your headphones out here and I will charge them. Okay. Okay. Um, so my character's name is Leodora because I randomly generated it and it sounded I like kind that. of cool. Yeah, um, absolutely. Yeah, I like it. And she's just like a guy. She's just like a person. <laughs> yeah. What what uh, what there. crime did she commit? Yeah. Why is she arrested? Um. Why am I arrested? Did it? Did we roll? Did you roll that? Or, or you can make that up, or you could roll it. I think there's. We like can a, roll it just now. Yeah, you can either. Make yeah, it up we could do that too. Now, yeah. Like, oh, well, I'll just make it up right now. Then what did I do? What happened? Oh. Aren't you a callous branch hand? Isn't that your uh did I imagine that? Isn't that your character? What is the it? Background? Yes. I thought so. I thought somebody was that. Branch hand. Maybe she does know that cow. I mean cattle yeah. rustling. <laughs> yeah, that's an easy piece of one. Yeah. Oh, oh my ranch hand. But so, it would be really funny if, they, if everyone was like, oh, so you do know this take cow. Take my ranch hand. Never seen him. <laughs> never seen him. It's your one for cattle elephants. You know this cow? Never met it before in my life. <laughs> <laughs> oh, also, real quick, Chris, doesn't your cow have a uh, hook for a horn? I was just saying that, yep. 
Nice. That's the weapon. Horn, so it's there's a hoof sticking out of your head. No, oh, it's, a hook. Oh, oh a hook. hook. That makes hook. more sense. Okay, good enough. Yeah, right. a hook. I'm just stuck in one of my holes. A hoof for a horn. Yeah, a hoof for a horn. <laughs> yeah, like, a hoof. with the cloven hoof and the broken arm. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my God! Oh, broken hoof and the broken fucking <laughs> arm, horn. <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah. So, so Jordan is a is a callous ranch hand and named Leodora, and just just a person just trying to make it out there, you know, in the big, the big west, right? Yeah, yeah. big west. And big when west. and when you're. And why were you arrested? Were you was it a were you framed? Or did you really do it? Or what's the what's the um it's whatever murder. the kids say these days? Sure. They should be murder. What's the jizz? What? <laughs> Is that what they say? Yeah, yeah, what's that's what the they say. Jizz, yo? <laughs> that's that's so fun. Definitely it. <laughs> <laughs> that's what they call jazz in star wars did you know that really yes no you're it, lying i swear i wish i was lying I wish, it's I wish. been a jazz long time since i've seen that movie. star wars jazz look it up i swear i swear to you <laughs> i'm not gonna look it up i believe you don't even want to know and you don't even want to know what people who perform it are called <laughs> I'm gonna tell you anyway. They're called jizz whalers. Okay. <laughs> Not even kid. I wish. I so wish I was making that up. That's ridiculous. I, yeah, I'm not typing that into any search engine. That's not. not Nobody no. told George. This is what happens when you're not when you don't know what the straight jizz on the street is. You say things like this <laughs> because you're out of touch and you don't know. So he didn't know. Somehow George Lucas. Did not know what jizz meant. Or maybe he did. Maybe he, he did it on purpose. He still doesn't. That's he ridiculous. Doesn't. What if he has anyway, so what if We should probably do. Game. I'm sorry. I'm sidetracking <laughs> everything because Corey's talking about jizz again. Sorry. <laughs> let's, so, let's get going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, well, I keep it. We keep interrupting Jordan. Um, so. <laughs> Are you, like uh, what was the crime that you were um, that you were arrested for? Yeah, I think I just I think I just killed a guy. Nice. Maybe a couple Self- guys. I don't know. Self defense or for fun? Killed a couple of guys. Yeah. Oh, just because killing guys is for fun. Cool. I'm... There I go, killing again. Yeah. <laughs> it's gonna oh help. boy. <laughs> was it bad premeditated? Or, was yeah, it premeditated, well. or were you just like these guys got to go? No, I just gotta go. Yeah, I understand that. I, I, I know that. like that guy doesn't need to be here. And yeah, just, I respect that. I totally do absolutely. That. All right, uh, who's who's next? One of you scumbags. I'll go. All right, I'm Slurpy the Goon Slonstable. <laughs> Oh and I'm a, a dog handler, dog trainer. Hound, hound master, yeah. Hound master. So I got a big old beautiful dog on me. And I got What kind of dog is it? Um, big beautiful dog. Oh, I didn't think Just that. a big beautiful a dog. Default, Good enough for me. Four HP's worth of dog. Four yeah. HP's worth, okay. So like a small dog, a smallish dog, I think. No, a six Bigger HP. Morale A, we'll be... bite one D four. Um, is it four? Is it, is that what you, did you say four HP? Isn't that what I said? Is it four HP? Six, six HP. Six, six. Oh, okay, so slightly bigger. Like maybe like I feel like a, like a what medium like one. A, what would be like a dog that you'd be like? You know what? If you looked at this dog, you're like, this dog has six hit points. I just can tell by looking at it. Like a like an Australian. I feel like I'm thinking show. of my own dogs, and I feel like socks would be more. Like a bit, yeah, like a dog like that, like a like he's a pit bull. Right. I think well, probably have more than that. Stupid, he'd probably have six hit points. Oh, <laughs> because he's stupid. Do you say because he's stupid? He has six. Yeah, points? but there's seventy pounds. But I don't think a seventy pound dog is going to have six hit points. It'd be a lot. They would have a lot more, right? 
I don't know. Average, I think it's average human supposed to have like what four? Yeah, like four. Oh, okay. Or, uh, uh, like a, so a like commoner that. with with that doesn't have a, any class levels or nothing. Yeah, a okay. classless wretch. Um. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> no, give me socks then. My pity. Okay. I'm yeah. gonna have my my pity next to me. All right. Well, is is, our, is his name gonna be socks as well? Yes. And he has that thing too, where like if he gets dropped to zero hit points, you can roll to see if he doesn't really die or not. And he only yeah. takes half damage from like all sources. Yeah, it's like the the like something stray. I forget. It's like the resilient uh, stray or something like that. Dogs are resistant to like lots of poison and shit. That like, it's kind yeah, of because yeah, they they're not fucking trash. grapes or chocolate. Apparently, oh yeah, lonesome stray takes one and a half of damage from attacks when yeah. dying. D four and a four survives. Yeah, that's what it does. Yeah, it that's naturally what it takes one and a half. Damage. Yeah. What what were you arrested for? Did we uh establish Oh that? for unionized robbery? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So can you tell me more about that? Well, I was trying to rob a place and then let the dogs in there, and then my dog socks ended up maiming an innocent person. So that kind of shot some red flags. Yeah. Now I'm here. Yeah, not there for the people. We've all we been there. Rob anything? He bit somebody before anything happened. Yeah, and that was the crime. Mm. Okay, that makes sense. But yeah, they bring in OSHA. And there was all kind of violations. Were there yeah. people like protesting? There were like not the it's like, or was it like, blame the owner, not the breed or whatever? Is that what pe were people doing that? Oh like, yeah, to, yeah. And I show them papers. He's up to date on all his vaccines, of course. Yeah. Rabies could be a condition in here. It, it actually it is now because it's not in the book. But I mean, rabies. Of course, it would be makes right. Sense. You know, yeah. Mm. Um. All right. Oh, so nice moving later. on, uh, Kevin or Evan, which one of you bastards? <laughs> I'm sorry. That sounded so. That sounded really mean. I'm sorry. <laughs> I mean, you don't know my parents. I couldn't. You sweet bastard! Which one of you sweet bastards? You sweet <laughs> bastard. Um, um, uh, Burl Goodmanson is a lead sworn believer. Uh, the he's a, oh, yeah. a member of the order of the lead sworn believers. He has a brand of the uh, the the alchemical symbol for Saturn because uh, alchemists believe that uh, Saturn is associated with lead. Because it's the oldest oh. metal. They, I didn't know they that. Used, alchemists used to believe that uh, lead is the oldest metal. Oh, um, really? So it's like the, the truest, like, you know. Yeah. And he's, he's wanted dead for good humored grave robbing. That's what I rolled. <laughs> what, whatever that means. That's what I rolled. It is good, for good, good humored grave it robbing. Yeah. I was like, it guys, was it's okay. He friend. wasn't even using it. <laughs> Exactly. What I, and what I stole was my father's sword from his grave. I like that. <laughs> I'm good at humor. You know what? I think it should be legal for people to rob their loved one's graves. I don't yeah, think they, exactly. Really, I don't think that you should be able to rob well, I mean legally I don't think you should be allowed to rob other people's graves but if it's like if you're related to them I think it should be fine. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Anyway, so my... <laughs> what are you, Firebug? All right, uh, the name is Belly and Firebug Casket. Ain't that bad of a guy, not really. I'm mostly coming to the attention of the law due to repeatedly selling fake tax derby jackalopes, chupacabra, and the like to rooms. On occasion, I supplement that with coyote urine as an ancient healing remedy. Pat's there from following the for generations, but I do feel real bad about it. <laughs> I firebug on account of frequently being mistaken for somebody else, get my ass lit up by hail bullets. 14 names now and count. So I probably know all of you, but all of you keep forgetting about me. <laughs> I love it. Who are you again? Why are you here? Uh, hey, you you're the guy. I'm your, I'm your cousin. <laughs> I married your sister. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm your cousin. I married your sister. Hello. Both. Yeah, obviously. 
<laughs> what's the deal with cousins? What's the deal with uh, what's the deal with sisters? You can't marry them. They can't be your cousin. I don't know. That, that was, that's my best. That was good. That is that that the most accurate. Myself? I don't know. No, yeah. I that, that was a good that sign. Was that. Ooh, you know. And it sounded exactly. That's yeah. perfect. That's perfect. Thank you. Thank you. Did a good well, job. And that's the end of the episode. Goodbye, everybody. All right. <laughs> good night. Good night. Oh, okay. I'll be here all week. Anyway, so uh, we know that we know what everybody's doing. We know what's going to happen to you. There's a lot of um, there are a lot of like rumors about the the uh, train. They're like, why is it? Here's what it is. Okay, why do you think it's called the Oregon Rail? This these are different things that these are different like uh, theories on why it's called this. The train runs on blood and viscera. The reason for its billow of red smoke. It was called the Morgan Rail, but them got scratched off by the hungry vultures that follow the train. Rebellious prisoners are ground in a slop and fed to the guard dogs. The warden plays a harmonica on the roof to keep prisoners up all night. What else could that awful screeching be? Unruly prisoners' bones are milled into flour. That's why the bread's all white and chalky. Mm. The healthiest prisoners' organs are sold off to the highest bidder. No wonder the guards keep talking or keep taking people away. So those are these Shit. are the six like <laughs> theories that people have. Nobody really knows. Um, you guys uh, got loaded up onto into these. <sighs> cattle cars basically um on this huge train uh i mean it looks pretty normal for the most part other than there's always green or not green there's always red smoke billowing out of the top when the train starts moving um and it has kind of a um, metallic smell the smoke does okay blood but uh and it's always yeah. it's always fault they're always like you always see vultures circling around the train when it's parked and they land on it and um, follow it around for some reason. Uh, so does anyone have any questions before we get things started? Um, we were, uh, I guess I do. We were arrested. Yeah. Yes. Do we still, do, do we still have like all the equipment, like the starting equipment and stuff? Or do we, did we like, need to f like did we find it somewhere or okay so are our hands bound are we like in yeah, a cage everyone is or... in manacles yes you guys are all in manacles okay um you are all uh chained like you have you have manacles on your hands and a chain in the middle and then it's tied to and then the another chain a uh, thing of chains attached to your feet um even chris chris also has the muzzle on and his, mm -hmm. his so he can't bite. Yeah. <laughs> so he can't bite. And his horn, uh, the hook horn has been confiscated. All of your belongings um have been confiscated, except if any of you have some a small item in your inventory, mm -hmm. you I want you all to if you I want you all to pick one that's small, like small enough to stash in a pocket. And Roll a die, and if you get odds, you have the item on your person somewhere. Uh, and on evens, it is uh, it confiscated as well. Okay. I have my gold and nothing else. Okay. I kept my tub of Vaseline. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't have anything really worried. Oh that. yeah, you have like a club and a chain and something else, don't you? Yeah, I've got got big stuff. Oh, uh, your dog also has a muzzle on, by the way. Well, that's fine. And and a tiny set of chains and manacles attached to its feet. John, it, did you say? Go ahead. You go first. No, I was gonna ask the same thing. Oh, did you say um, if we rolled odds, we have it, and evens, we don't, or was it the other yes. way? No, that was a yeah, odds we have it. Even yeah, and it's just like any one item that I have that's small enough to fit in my pocket. Yes. Yeah. Okay, I have my straight razor. Oh, Perfect. nice. That's a good one. Nice. Chris, does your cow? I don't. I'm. I'm not really sure where the your cow would uh, be stashing something. 
unless it like unless she keister did or something, I guess. But that's know, entirely up to you. The only thing that's really small enough, or in your mouth, is twenty four stomachs. Of <laughs> <laughs> Let's good, see. good, good point. What were, I'm sorry, what were you saying? The only thing that's small enough is what? 20 pieces of chewing gum. And I'd be holding it in my mouth. So, <laughs> okay. So you don't... <laughs> even I don't have 20 pieces of chewing gum in my mouth. <laughs> I feel like cows would like gum. That makes a lot of sense. Oh, they would, yeah. They'd love it. That makes a lot of sense. You'd have to give them like a fucking three packs of it. Yeah. They love chewing gum. I feel like it would be chewing the gum and then it would swallow the gum and then it would regurgitate the gum again. And spit it back up. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I wonder what that would do to the cons like the consistency of the gum at that point. Because oh, cow, cow well, if you leave it in pretty powerful. If you chew on it long enough, it'll it'll deter like you know come apart anyway, and you it'll just yeah, you know, turn into true. like sugar. I, hate gum. I know. <laughs> You know I hate gum. <laughs> <laughs> well, she, yes, actually, now I do. <laughs> because you said it, so I totally know. <laughs> now you know. <laughs> the more you know. <laughs> yeah, the more you know. Um, okay, so so we're, so we're everybody has a small item on their person still. Uh, you guys are all getting okay. loaded up onto the train by mean jailers that prod you with their billy clubs and spit not in your faces but by your feet as you walk by they load you up and blow they, my kiss he, <laughs> <laughs> he scowls at you <laughs> and starts to raise his billy club but one of the other guards puts his hand on his shoulder and he calms down uh I want to so y'all really loud yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you what I just want to move really loud. Everyone stops for a second when you do that, and they all look at you, and then, like, one of the guards, like, jabs you in the ribs with his billy club, and he's like, get going, cow. <laughs> uh, but it's it's unbearably hot right now, and you're all being loaded on, and even though you're not happy about being taken prisoner, you're all looking forward to at least some shade when you get inside the train. Um... There are probably about 20 to 30 other prisoners that are being taken on. Oh, God. And you're all getting loaded in single file. You get taken down a claustrophobic, stinky, smells of piss hallway until you all get loaded uh, into cells. So. You all get loaded up. Um. Corey, your dog gets taken into a different um a different car. Or different, yeah, it gets taken into a different car. So you get loaded up. And different Chris, you get car, taken. Sons you, get of taken bitches. you get taken into a different car too. Um you get taken with the dog ahead of everybody else. Okay. They take all of your belongings and they and uh Several guards with burlap bags shove all your junk in it, and then they go into a different car as well. All right, so this is the situation. Besides being locked in a cell, the PCs are handcuffed and chained. Um, mm -hmm. They cannot, let's see, can't stray far from each other because it's cramped quarters. Uh, everyone's wearing just, everyone has been loaded, or not loaded, been forced to wear striped black and white prison uniforms oh man unless except for chris who has a prison hat though <laughs> oh we like, have, you know how prison still have those little right. caps that have like the little black and you know cool yeah so everyone's got one of those on too in place of your regular hats if you had regular hats yeah um so there's that everybody's got different got those outfits on uh everybody's some of you have items on you um the thick Thick black iron walls of the car rattle and keep most sounds and bullets from traveling between cars. Uh, the other thing you need to know is the car's couplings, uh, which are the metal pieces that hold the train together, they are tightly welded black iron and cannot be destroyed. Okay. Okay. So 
now uh, everybody is in this cell car, um, locked up, and uh, it's stinky, it's hot, and everyone's grouchy and complaining. There are three guards that are just passing through, just walking through, dragging their billy clubs along the bars, making that, you know, clanking noise. Um, Do they take our manacles here, off? Hey, no, your when, manacles when are When they off. put us in the cells? Okay. You still got them on, yeah. Okay. We can't do much. Would the manacles no. prevent me from kicking the door? Uh, well, you and the dog get taken ahead. You guys get taken into this car that's a little bigger. It's uh, even smellier than the other than the other prisoner car, um, and you hear and smell other animals. Um, there, you guys, you and the dog get put in the same uh, the same cell. But there are also uh, there's also an eagle um, in like a in like. A big metal bird cage you can like barely move around. Um, there is a sickly looking bear. Um, there are there's a cage with uh, six large rats. Um, there oh. are four four foul smelling baboons that are in a that are in a cell as well. And also everyone who has a horse, your horse is in a separate cell. Um, for horses. Okay. So our horses are on the train also? Yes. Okay. Cool. All right. So now, what is everyone going to do? I want to go. Oh, yeah. Go ahead. I'm going to go kick one of these cages open. Okay. Um, make, a, make a grit test. Um, it's going to be a little difficult with the chains and the metal bars, but you can definitely, it's definitely doable if you roll high enough. Oh no. No. Well, what'd you get? You got a one. Oh no. Nobody starts with any aces. All the aces are gone. Oh. Okay. Um, <laughs> I'm not All right, old. Chris. Um, roll a D four, Chris. Bless you. Uh, three, three. Okay, so you you like kick back with your leg, and you chip part of your hoof on the metal bar, and your leg is stuck between the bars now. Mm. Shit. Uh, you definitely startle the other animals when you kicked the when you kicked the um, bar. Is it shook everything? So the bears growling and the fucking rats are squeaking and the eagles screeching and everything else, um, and the baboons are yelling and screaming. Uh, with your leg stuck, you see a guard come in and he's like, "What the hell?" And he comes over and sees your leg and he's like damn cow you're bleeding on the floor where your chipped hoof is bleeding and he's trying to push your leg back through are you going to allow him to do this or are you going to do yeah something else? Or you resist? I'll, let him, I'll let him get me unstuck that doesn't mean we're gonna be friends after <laughs> okay he pushes your leg through and you put your leg down and you're bleeding a little bit um He's like, stupid cow, we're going to have to bandage that thing up. So he goes back into the other room. Uh, what about you, human scum? What do you guys Does one of the uh, guys have a keys on him? Am I? Can you guys hear me? Yeah, um, you're frozen. Yeah, I think. Oh, okay. So, I'm sorry. I thought there was a technical issue. I, my apologies. Um, yeah, does one of the guards have? Does one of the guards have like keys hanging on him or something that I can see? You you do see uh, a huge ring of keys attached to the belt of one of the guards. Okay. One in the middle, as the three are passing through, and they're clanking their clubs. Well, 
Two of them are clanking their club. One of them is drinking a beer. Okay. We're going to have to distract him or something. Or, or cause a ruckus of some kind. Um, I want to try to grab one of the billy clubs. Like, okay. While he's just like, I just want to like slink up there and just sort of try to, you know, with my fucking. Yeah. Well, it's going to be difficult, but you can yeah. definitely try. Make a slick. Slick? Okay, that's yeah. a plus zero. <laughs> so. It could be worse. That, well, it's a 16. All oh, right. Man. So um, you do gra- you grab a hold of it. Uh, okay. He does notice that you have a hold of it. but he, Obviously. Yeah, he, I'm not trying to be sneaky. I want him to notice hold, that I do he's not holding on. He's not holding on it too tight because he's just kind of walking by. Just right. His head grazing across. And you grab it, and he he walks by, and he looks down and realizes it's not in his hand. He's like, "Hey!" And he like reaches through the bars to try and grab you. Okay, I'm going to get back as far as possible. <laughs> okay, make a make another. Actually, I, I'm gonna like just up, say, you know, like against the wall. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna say that since we since you rolled so high, yeah, you just kind of grab it and, and go back. <laughs> so okay. He, so he's pissed off, uh, and he's like, he's like, he's got my damn club. And so, so, like, the guy who's drinking the beer, he, like, sighs, and he, he like, throws the bottle, and it, like, ba- it bangs up against the wall, and then it just rolls, uh, lands on the ground next to a trash can. And he pulls out a revolver and points it at you, and he's like, give him back the damn club. Hmm. I'll trade you. <laughs> You'll trade him? Yeah, for the, you know, for the gun. <laughs> what do you say, sailor? Boy, what have you been snorting? <laughs> you don't want to know, honey. <laughs> he goes, that thing better be turned over before I count to three, or you're gonna have lead poisoning, boy. Hmm. I'm gonna look around. What do you think? <laughs> what does everybody think? I'm curious. Uh, actually, uh, <laughs> while he's distracting the guards, I'm gonna pull out my tumble vaseline, grease up my wrists, and try to get off the manacles. Okay, make a go. make Excellent. a slick yes. test yourself. Which will be slightly, which will be slightly lower because of the uh, combination of well. distraction and vaseline. Sixteen, okay. Yep. Nice. So you managed to get lubed up real good and flip those babies off, and no one's the wiser. Leodora, nice. what about you? Um. Is there anyone? particularly close to like my cell yeah like people are packed in like uh there are there are a few people in there with you You, actually you're in the same cell as um firebug and burl okay where are the guards close to the bars yeah um one of them is pointing a gun in the direction of a guy who stole a, bully, a billy club from one of the guards. Um, so there are three of them, and they're and they're all three standing pretty close to the bars right now. Okay. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and take this distraction um, as an opportunity to like get my straight razor and just get it behind the neck of the guy with the keys. Okay. Uh, make a slick test. So just roll, and then if you have a bonus or penalty to your slick skill, or I mean uh, ability, then you will add that to whatever you roll. Or subtract it, depending on what your modifier is. Well, Did minus- you roll natural one? I have a minus two, so. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so that's going to be a five. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Well, so here's what happens. They don't notice that you have your straight razor, but you drop your straight razor as because your hands are 
you're are manacled you're trying to like you get it out of your pocket but then as you're trying to like you know pull the, pull the blade out you drop it and it clatters to the floor um, okay I'm gonna, I'm gonna put my foot over it before anyone sees okay. okay you put your foot down on it and you see another prisoner who is a um is a scrawny old bald man with a long uh mustache is that like a like a Fu Manchu kind of he he looks at you but then he like looks away like he's trying to be nonchalant like but he noticed the he did notice the um the straight razor fall hey is Corey it's fine. Still there? where's Corey he Corey Hello? well we'll get back to him whenever he pops back on yeah hey. um yeah maybe he's so, in another cell or something yeah, so he yeah he's on the same floor as you. Guys. Yeah, so <laughs> basically falling asleep during some of the other sessions. So yeah, yeah, that might have happened. He might just be asleep. Okay, so so the guard pointing the revolver says one, two. So nobody else do? didn't nobody else did anything. Okay, all <laughs> right, all right. I'm just kidding. <laughs> well, I'm they just... did, but they yeah well, they did. I mean but... yes, but like <laughs> that that works. Okay. I'm just kidding, honey. I'm just kidding. Okay, here you go. You're going to hand it back to him? Yes. Okay, <laughs> okay so so you hand it back to that I should have just, I should have let him shoot at me. But he's got six bullets. I don't want to, I don't want to, <laughs> not yet. It's too early. Yeah, not yet, not yet. <laughs> yeah, yeah, immediately. Yeah. Especially not without your... <laughs> Not without any armor or anything, you know. Yeah, yeah. That, um, I assume they took that too. They've got they've got it somewhere on the train, yeah. probably. Yeah. My armor. Yeah, they do. Um, so which is a plus two to, to my him. uh fucking whatever you know minus two yeah, to damage. Yeah, your stuff. damage reduced. Um. Yeah. So so you hand it back to him, and when you do, he scowls at you, and he tries to hit you with it. So make an agility or make a slick test. I'm so used to agility. <laughs> a s- slick? Yeah. Okay, that is a four. Okay. <laughs> so <laughs> he, while he wallops you for three damage. Yeah. He busts you in the jaw with it. And you're and one of your teeth feels looser than it was before. <laughs> and he goes, try that shit again and see what happens. And then they all walk out of the <laughs> out of the car. I'll tell him I'll see you soon, honey. <laughs> <laughs> he stops for a second and then he just keeps walking. <laughs> all right. So uh so Leodora, that old guy who who saw you drop the straight razor, he goes, Hey, hey, let me have that thing. No. <laughs> no. He's like, come on, I need something to protect myself. I'm just a little guy. I'm a girl. He goes, I'm old. He goes, look at me. And he has like <laughs> arthritic fingers. They're all bent in weird ways. <laughs> and he starts to reach. He starts to reach down towards your feet. Oh my god! I'm gonna kick him. Okay. <laughs> Make a grit test. Can I be kicking this old man right now? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. <laughs> yes. I I definitely. Kicked. Encourage the fun. Encourage it, yeah. In um, real life and in this situation. <laughs> Him eleven. Eleven. Okay. Um. So you try to kick at him. You just barely miss. He, but despite being old, he puts his arms up and kind of you try to kick at him, but your legs kind of pushes up against him, and he goes. He turns and looks at you and goes. Ah! And he's got like three teeth. And he like hisses <laughs> at you. Got he one. just hisses like an angry possum and bears his <laughs> three teeth. <laughs> I'm like an angry possum. I gotta put him down now. 
Uh oh. <laughs> it's distracting. I'm gonna take. I'm gonna put the uh, medicals on my fingers like a uh, like brass knuckles and just punch them in the back yeah. of the head. Okay. Make a make a grit test. <laughs> Okay, 13 plus 3, 16. Okay. 16 so is my lucky bust, number. You bust the shit out of this old man's head. He goes down. He doesn't see it coming. He goes down <laughs> hard. <laughs> and there's a little bit of his of his scalp and hair like on the manacles where he punched it. And a little bit of blood. <laughs> and that's how you as take care of Paul's as we're off from. <laughs> as soon as he goes down another another prisoner who's just like this this um really like filthy like greasy uh old woman who is probably about as like tall as she is wide but she has like very thin fingers and she pounces on the old man starts rummaging around in his pockets to see if he has anything on him and she and she curses under her breath when she doesn't find anything she's like i hope he had something stashed away <laughs> so Chris, what about you in the uh in the animal pen? Did that guy come back and patch my foot up? He comes back uh with some bandages and a bottle of whiskey. And he's got uh the other guard who had the keys, he he's coming behind him and he unlocks the cell with you and the dog in it, and he lets the guy in. And then um, he locks the cell behind him, and then he goes back out of the out of the car. Okay. And the guy's like, "Easy, girl, easy." And he's he's like, starts to like squat down by your foot. Uh, I'm. He can bandage me up. Okay. He goes. You can't be kicking around in here. And he starts. He pours the booze on your hoof, which stings, but doesn't cause you any actual damage and he wraps it up pretty nicely and he stands up and he's like I could have been a veterinarian then <laughs> then he then he turns back towards the bars and he goes hey and he starts just starts yelling um and the other guy pops out around the corner comes and starts walking to unlock the the cell all right so I've still got one regular horn. Did they take away my yeah. action? Yeah. So you can attack. You can attack with your horns if you want. Yeah. I mean, that's in my nature. I, yeah. I'll let him help me, but he's still the bad guy. <laughs> yeah. Cows right. kill a lot of people every year in this country, you know. Yeah. In mm -hmm. reality, so I mean, don't turn your back on a cow. Let's be a lot more. Yeah. <laughs> cow <laughs> rampage. Is that a grit test? Yeah. Uh, that sucks. Um, it is nine. nine. Okay. <laughs> so you kind of you try to hit him with your with your horns, but it's the quarters that you're in are kind of cramped, so you kind of just push up against him. So he like just gets kind of smushed up against the bars for a second. He's like, hey, damn cow. And he starts slapping you. <laughs> and the other guard like hurries up and starts to unlock the he unlocks the cell. Um he's like, this damn cow's gonna crush me. And he tries to get out the, the cell door. I'll let you make another attack if you want. I will. Hell on the cell with a cow. Hell in a cell. <laughs> yeah. I've been watching some Hell in a Cell matches lately. That was even worse. That was a three. Dang. Okay. Nice. So you just you just can't you're just kind of stomping around and making a bunch of noise and he's just like, all right, all right. He like gets out and they slam the cell <laughs> they lock it. That's okay. And the the guy's the guy with the keys, he's like, I think she might have that mad cow disease. And the guy who, who doctored you up, he's like, that's not what that means. And they just start <laughs> talking and mumbling to each other and they walk out. <laughs> All right, back on the human side of things. What are you guys doing? There may be a dead old man on the floor in front of you. I don't know. <laughs> um, 
Is he bleeding a lot? Yeah. Actually, you didn't even roll for damage, did you? Oh, what's what's punch damage? I think it's a D2. D2. Okay, so odds evens. Yeah. It is even. So okay. Two. Well, this is a frail old man, so he's definitely unconscious, at least. Um, so he's at, like, zero. Like, let's try to see if I can get some blood on my hands and slip out of these manacles. Or if I notice that he got out, uh, ask him. Did, can I? Uh, how easy him. is it yeah. for me to? Okay, I can totally tell that he doesn't have. Yeah, can I you just punch somebody with my manacles? <laughs> right. Well, yeah, but like, <laughs> how how cool? You know, if it's cramped in here and I can't. <laughs> it's I don't like know. it's you, Firebug, Leodora, that old lady, and then old man are in this. Okay. Room. Oh, that's not so bad. Okay. And um, then there are other cells that have the rest of the people there. Yeah. The rest of the 20 people. Uh, I guess I'm just going to ask him about it. How'd you get out of that or whatever? You know, how'd you get out of there? Yeah. Uh, uh, ancient hoodoo. <laughs> Can you hoodoo mine? <laughs> yeah, well, it, it comes in a easily accessible container. Can you hoodoo me? Can you hoodoo me a <laughs> who who do me a favor over here? <laughs> I handed the container of Vaseline. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> I'm gonna remedy my people. <laughs> I'm gonna just yeah. I'm gonna try to slip myself out of here. Okay, uh, make a slick test. Uh seven. <laughs> Man, you guys are rolling like. Seven. <laughs> You gotta uh, believe in the hooting for it to work. Yeah, that's, yeah. He, no, noted. That's right. That's true. <laughs> that's very true. Half of um, who's in your mind, see. So, Leodora, you see these two guys talking about hoodoo and doing <laughs> weird stuff with Vaseline. You're not really sure what's going on. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be like, hey, let me get some of that. Some of that Vaseline. Pass around. Yeah. <laughs> Ain't nothing wrong yeah. with everybody gets good and greasy. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, make, make, a, yeah, make a slick test to see if you can slip out of them. Which with the Vaseline should just be a 10 or lower. Or, I mean, 10 or higher, not lower. 10 or higher. That is exactly a 10. All right. So you managed nice. to slip the manacles off. And uh, while you're doing that, you notice that greasy old lady is like trying to nonchalantly use her foot to put it on top of your straight. Like she's trying to pull, like drag your straight razor over to her with her toe. Oh, I'm just going to pick it up. Okay. And... Your hands are free now. <laughs> And she's like, oh, uh, she's like, uh, uh, I don't want no <laughs> trouble. She's like, who do me out of here too, boss? And she starts pushing <laughs> on firebug. <laughs> who do me out of here too? I don't see one out. Okay, I wanna I wanna cut the old lady's toe off with my straight razor. <laughs> okay, make a grid test. Okay. <laughs> oh, she should know better. Let's be real. She should, especially at her age. I mean, come on. Agreed. She should know better. Yeah. Oh my god. Nice. <laughs> well, uh, so, so roll a d4. <laughs> Four. Because you may get more than just one toe, depending on how much damage you deal. One. One. Okay, so that's that's perfect. So you you just with one fluid motion. You slice her toe right off. Which toe, <laughs> which toe would you like? Um, her um big toe. Okay. Um, and then I'm gonna hold it up to her, and I'm gonna say, "This little piggy went to market, bitch." <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, 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 before you, uh, can, can I can I have that? But are you done with that toe? Because I could use it. <laughs> 
She's <laughs> the bar you took that to the floor. You know what? She yeah. The floor blood bleeding everywhere. Yeah, I I got free with your Vaseline, so you can have this old lady's toe. That's okay. <laughs> oh, thank you. All right, so Add I've got lady cr- to your to your inventory, Kevin. Well, okay, so I've got a uh, crack improvised tools. I'm gonna start making that uh, toe the bone into a uh, lock pick. All right. <laughs> All right. Use a, what is it? Wits. Roll a wits test to. Okay. Do I have that, like to advantage do... with that because that's a skill, or do I just have the skill? Yeah. In it? Okay. Yeah. No. Yeah. Yeah. That's a no. That's a, like a tool of the a trick of the trade or whatever kind okay, of. So it gives me advantage. Yeah. So roll with advantage to like whittle that into. A fucking. All right, so we got a eight and an eleven. Okay, so here's the thing: you start shredding it, like shred off the meat, and you right. get it to like pick. You get it to like peak pick point. I don't know. Does that make any sense? Condition. Yeah. I uh, wanted. To, I wanted to use another P. I was trying to be more illiterate. <laughs> um, but anyway, so so you do. You get it. You get it perfect, and. As soon as you try, I'm going to say, like, are you going to try it? Are you going to try to oh, use yeah. it immediately? So as soon as you I'm try going to look around it, first. I'm going to make sure the guards are, like, right there. Yeah, they're not. They're not in the car okay. right now. Uh, so you you jam it into the lock, and you hear the bone break. It cracks. Shit. And so oh, and, you, you, and you pull it back out, and, like, the bone's cracked, and you can see, like, the marrow inside of her toe bone. All right, Missy, I'm going to need some more toes from that lady. <laughs> she is, by the way, she is screaming and kicking and bleeding all over the floor right now. Or that, or that guy. I mean, whichever one, uh, if I can get some more toes. <laughs> or fingers, or, I don't know, bigger. I need, I need things. Any no things. Anything. Anything. I'm just going to keep trying to struggle over here. You're just going. Well, I, I'm asking Leonora to cut off more. Uh, I'm just going to keep trying to <laughs> oh, yeah, struggle yeah. my hands well, out of the. Well, with enough time and and lubricant, you get the job done eventually. Eventually, cool. yeah. So, because because they're not going to be back. The guards come like come back every like, mm-hmm. you know, every thirty minutes or so. Okay. Um, so like you have time to to do that. Uh, but that old know. lady is screaming. And she's like, "I'm killing you! I'm killing you!" Keep saying that. <laughs> she's like, "You're crazy! I'm killing you!" You sort of asked for it. Yeah. So, yeah, uh, Leodora, do you mind cutting off another that, toe? I, I can trying... use another toe. Yeah, she keeps saying that, but she's not trying to attack. She's just laying on the yeah. floor, holding her foot, bleeding everywhere. <laughs> okay. And you hear some guard, or, or you hear some. Uh, some prisoners are crossing. You're like, "Hey, shut the hell up!" Okay, the toe didn't work, so I'm gonna lop off a finger. There we go. <laughs> okay. Make another grit test. Ah, uh, six. Okay. <laughs> so here's what happened. Slashed her hand. So you go to well, you go to try to uh, you grab her arm and you go with your other hand to to slice her finger off and the old lady bites you on the arm you take one point of damage as her cracked brown teeth break the skin of your left arm ew she's slobbering she's still just slobbering on your arm just going "Ah." (laughs) gross very What's everybody gonna do with this brawl that's taking actually while actually while that's going on, while you guys are sorting that out, uh just a cow, what are you doing now? Am I alone? Other than the other animals, yes. Can I try to unionize the animals and do a series of moves? Yeah, you can make a um slick test, I think. Or would it be would it be slick or would it be wits? I think uh... wits. Wits. Probably with wits, persuasion. right? Yeah, with his persuasion. Yeah, so, okay, so make a wits test. That is a natural 20, and <laughs> I got a plus one, so 21. <laughs> Woo! 
<laughs> okay, everybody, add one ace to your uh, to your sheet. So we're back up to one. So, nice. that, so you all lost an ace, and now you've gained an ace back. So Chris, you in the in the small period of time that you've been in there, you've managed to uh, indoctrinate these animals into your belief system, and you really Down have street them. cred. Yeah, and they like they are very much interested in you and they want to help in whatever way they can they just want to get out and uh and they want to like you know, build some sort of animal commune with you yeah it's got an animal farm <laughs> yeah long live animal farm yeah so um so they all like they're basically waiting for your for your cue on what to do all right I'm as far as how you guys are going to get out i'm gonna move break out of here Okay. Well, all of the animals start just making as much noise as they can and like shaking the bars if they're able or just chewing on the bars or rocking around in their cage. The horses are all like kicking at the doors. And um even though most of the sounds and things are are sort of um like muffled because of the different cars, the jarring of on the bars are like kind of vibrating through and uh, the one who tended your hoof, that guy, he comes in. He's like, what the hell's going on in here? Shut the hell up. And all the animals are screeching and everything. And he comes in. He's waving a billy club around. He's like, shut up, shut up. I got I to gotta get him inside of here. Yeah, somehow. So he, 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 um, he like pulls a gun out and he shoots it at the ceiling and he goes <laughs> and it starts bouncing around and he's like oh shit and he like ducks, <laughs> and, he ducks. and you see in his other uh or he he um uh, he had the gun and he had the billy club and then he had like a little uh he had like a flask that like fell out of his pocket and it slides across the floor uh roll a luck test Stop. Also, if you hear yelling, my kids are fighting. And my wife is yelling with it. We can edit that out in post. Uh, seven. <laughs> What'd you get? Uh, seven. Okay. So the canteen slides across the floor and almost goes into yourself that it bounces off one of the bars and slides a little bit um, away. Um, but the bullets ricocheting around and... Uh, and eventually just hits one of the baboons in the arm. The baboon starts screaming and the baboon's bleeding everywhere. And so the guy goes, oh shit. And he runs back to the other car and comes back with more gauze. And he's like, all right, baboon, I don't want any trouble now. And the baboon's just screaming its head off. And he like goes and uh, goes to get, to get the guy with the keys. And he comes back. By himself, but with the key ring. And he unlocks the door and is like trying to calm down the baboon. All right. I'm going to move when he gets in there. Get him. Okay. Make a, uh, make another. Actually, no. Are you Actually, yes. Just to see how accurate the baboon is and if it's able to physically do this. So go ahead and roll a, um, roll to tell him what to do, basically. All right. It, we'll have this be kind of like how you guys were commanding animals in the last game. Yeah. Uh, ten. Okay. So, as he's going to tend to the baboon with the, her arm, one of the other baboons jumps on his back and starts trying to wrest the keys from his hand, but uh, he's like, get the hell off! And he, he manages to like fling the baboon off of his back. But the cell door is open in the baboons uh, to their cell. Mm. What are you going to do? What are you, gonna, what are you going to do? I mean, they got to get out of there. So Kick get... me in the dabs. <laughs> if, yeah, if you want to make another um, test to try and get them to, to give them another chance. All right. Or if you want to do something, tell them to do something specific. You can do that as well. Uh, 18. Okay, so what are you going to have him do exactly? Um, I want him to grab the... Or... 
kick them in the nads, uh, take oh, the no. keys. Nads and keys. Yeah, bro. Nads and keys? Is that what you said? Yep. Sure, yeah. Let's do nads and keys. <laughs> I think he said <laughs> snatch right. the keys. <laughs> oh, you said snatch the keys. I thought you said nads and keys. Nads and keys. Well, he grabbed his nads and the keys. So yeah. here's what I was going to ah. say. <laughs> the baboon bites the guy in the nads. And he drops the keys. The other baboon with the hurt Perfect. arm grabs the keys and runs out of the cell. Is what I was going to say. Unless you Perfect. But if you want it to be something different, then that can, it can be that. Nope. It's up to you. That accomplishes all the things that I would like to accomplish. <laughs> okay. And roll a d4. All right. Actually, wait. No, roll a d6. It's actually a d6. Holy shit. I forgot. Oh, the monkey's bite deals a d6. Fucking Fuck Jesus Christ. Four. Four? <laughs> Is that what you said? Four damage, yep. Okay, so a baboon rips this guy's penis off. <laughs> and the guy's screaming. <laughs> and he's like, you fucking ape, you fucking ape. And he's bleeding all the way from the baboon and just it spits the guy's penis out, out of its mouth and screeches and then just eats it. And the guy is like trying to aim his gun, but he's too woozy from blood loss and he just passes out onto the ground. Yeah. The baboons, they're the only animals with, with the manual dexterity. So they walk over to your cell and they give, uh, make a... Um, Make a, I won't forget the laundry. Make a test to see if the baboon um, can figure it out. If it can figure out how to unlock the door. Uh, 14. What, what was it? Uh, 14. Okay. So the baboons unlock your cell. And all the animals are like <laughs> peering and like in their native tongue. And they're all excited and they want out. You know, they're they're all like uh, crying for the baboons to let them go. And so <laughs> so that's what the baboons start doing. All right, so let's go back to the humans. <laughs> who have not who have not quite as easily band together as the animals have. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently not. <laughs> uh Leodora, you're being chewed on by an old lady. <laughs> um yeah, I'm just gonna like Kind of push her off. Okay. Make a grit test. Okay. Aww. What well, was it? A one? All right. So everybody looks Well, our ace goes away again. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So she bites down. You try to break free. She bites down harder. Um, take two more damage as this old Dang. woman's teeth break off in your wound. Ew. Yeah. Yuck. As she pulls away, like as you're pull, like pulling, she bites down, her teeth break off, and she opens her bleeding gummed mouth and just goes ah! <laughs> like a horrible <laughs> hag of the waste. Hag of the waste. <laughs> awesome. uh, and, and make a actually make a make a uh, grit and uh, make another grit test to see if this makes you miserable or not because i mean i feel like you can see how um eight. eight okay so you are currently miserable with the condition hag chawed jeez <laughs> all right so you guys witness this horrible occurrence as this old woman bites this other not old woman uh, unless unless leodora is old how old is leodora Oh, I don't know. Like, How old is everybody, actually? Uh, let's see. Oh, 2D20. Yeah, I didn't think about it. I am. How about 20... you can have her be oh, just 24. a completely ambiguous age? Oh, there we go. <laughs> it's like grizzled. And, and, yeah, just grizz, ambi ambiguously grizzled. <laughs> <laughs> we could just say that that's actually really, unless, unless someone makes it a point to be especially young or old, I think maybe that's just what we should. Everyone is just so filthy and caked and crud that it's just it's nearly impossible to tell how old anyone is, and unless they're particularly decrepit <laughs> or clean, maybe that's what we can just determine. Um, so you see this fight unfolding. What are you guys going to do? 
All right, she's causing too much trouble. So while she's biting the other lady, I want to run to you and punch her in the back of the head, too. I need your <laughs> fingers, damn it. The king of the sucker punch. So that's a, oh, that's a 20. Dirty 20. <laughs> king of the Jesus sucker Christ. punch. Jesus Christ, uh, okay, Send those odds or evens. That is... This lady's already been... That is is odds, so it's just one point of damage. Okay, okay, is this a is this a an unarmed strike or is this like uh, uh, because he's using the manacles as a weapon? Oh, What's I mean, the... he. Uh, well, it's it's like legitimate damage. You could kill somebody with this. Um, it's okay. not just yeah, non sure. Lethal. So um, so so Firebug punches the old lady in the side of the head. And she falls down, but she starts to. Trying, her body's shaking, and she's trying to push herself back up. She's not quite unconscious. <laughs> um, I'm just, I, I'm just sort of watching this and laughing. <laughs> watching it all unfold. <laughs> yeah, the old man who got punched in the head earlier, like he, his leg starts to twitch. <laughs> um. The I'm old lady starts poke. to stand back up. Are you going to poke the old man? Yeah, I'm going to see what he does. <laughs> okay. Is he a lot, luck, you, luck? Yeah. Oh, gosh. He's going to bite me. <laughs> um. Everyone dies from being bitten by old people. <laughs> <laughs> Eight. Eight? <Okay>. Yes. <laughs> Get a rabies from this you, guy. You, po yeah. you poke him, and all of a sudden he goes like that, really loudly, and <laughs> and it scares the shit out of you. Um, <laughs> that's actually really all that happens, though. He doesn't attack or anything. Okay. Just like, okay. It was kind of more of a jump scare <laughs> test. Jump actually, scale. Make, actually, make a grit test. Make a grit test. <laughs> okay. Um, uh, uh, seventeen. Okay, because if he would have really scared you, I was gonna make you be. I was gonna make you be like it. Just Afraid so of him? That, that, yeah, that you're just terrified of this old man. <laughs> but he he does that, and then he gets up and he goes, "Demon, oh, yeah. demon!" <laughs> yeah, he, oh, he his hands are still uh, stuck together, but he's like trying to reach. He's like, "Oh, hit me!" He goes, speak! Oh, it's one of the guards. Make a totally. make a slick test to see if you see if you are convincing or not. Uh, <laughs> three. Okay. He goes, you measly skunk! And he goes, ah! And he charges at you. Make an agility test, firebug. Uh, slick. Or be scratched by the arthritic fingers of this old man. Twelve. Okay. He rushes at you as fast as a old man with brain damage uh, can muster, and you manage to get out of the way as he collides with the bars of the cell and bounces <laughs> off them and falls to the ground dazed but not dead. Eventually, the guards, uh, one of the guards comes in and Shit. he starts walking by to check on you guys. Uh, Quick, pretend you your you hands do? are bound. <laughs> yeah, you can. Yeah, if you, if you want to, if you want to try to conceal that you're. Yeah, um, I sort of like drape it over me and hold my hands like yeah. this. I pick yeah, up the old man and kind of I pick up the old man and put him in front of me. Okay, everybody make a <laughs> slip test. Hey. No. 16. 16? What everybody get? Not 20. Nice. Everybody, we got get, we... everybody get your aces back. <laughs> <laughs> Yay. <laughs> I got a nine, and I did, I'd oh. like to immediately use that ace to re-roll it. Okay. All right. Excellent. <laughs> Don't roll a one, whatever you do. Uh, this time it's a 10. A 10? Yeah. 
Okay, uh, so he walks by, and uh, Burl and Leodora are pretty convincing. Um, even the old lady who had her toe sliced off and the shit beat out of her, she manages to play it cool because she doesn't want to deal with these fucking pigs either. So she's like concealing that her foot's bleeding all over before. She has her foot behind her other foot, and she's just like rocking. There's just, but there's blood around on the floor yeah. for some reason. <laughs> Yeah, and <laughs> and so that's actually what the the guard notices at first, and then he turns to Firebug, and he sees you putting the old man in front of him, and the old man's like twisting, and he's like, man, really cussing at you and everything, <laughs> and he's like, wait a second, and he goes to pull his re- revolver out at you guys. There's well, an not, undead not, you old man Firebug. in here. At Firebug, what? I've been telling the guard with the gun, there's an undead old man in here. <laughs> <laughs> and on, yeah, me? So are you going to try and tell him that? He's going uh, mad. Yes. I don't, okay. I mean, I don't know if I'm trying to lie or not. I'm just saying that yeah, because just, I just be a yeah, dick. Well, but, but I can totally, I'll roll whatever you tell me. Yeah, just to see if he, be- <laughs> yeah, like you can wholeheartedly sure. believe that. It's just that whether he believes it or not. Is that going to be wits? Yeah, or slick. Yeah. Uh, well, actually, well, I would say wits because you're being honest, or you probably okay. you might be you might be being honest. I don't know. I'm I'm pretty sure I'm being Deception honest. Is, yeah. Are you trying to persuade? If you're, I guess if you're being honest, it's just kind of stating it's wits, a fact yeah. or, or what you believe wits. to be a fact. Yeah. Okay. It's that's going to be a negative two. So let's see what I got here. <laughs> um. Well, I mean that makes it fifteen. Okay. Yeah. So you <laughs> like. He's, he's like, what? He's like, he's like, oh, sweet Christopher. He's like, it's one of them ghouls. And so he, yes. Um, so he points the gun. He put he puts the gun, the revolver through the bars of the cell, and he shoots the old man right in the head, and fucking kills him. Okay. And uh... the old, and and the old man just cl- like you know falls to the ground. Is that hand? Like inside the bars? Yeah. Yes. <sighs> We're gonna have to go for it. Yeah. So, yeah. I. Yeah. Go for it. Make a slip don't, test. Ah, shit. This is a. Okay. <laughs> gonna go for it. Yavli helvete. Okay. Two. You rolled a two. <laughs> yes. Spy. Slap my. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so... I slap it. <laughs> Now he can tell that I don't have my manacles on, probably. He, 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 well, God damn happens. it. You, you go for it, and he, he, like, you try to grab it, and he he hits you with the gun. And, uh, Shit. So you take one more point of damage. Yeah. As, like, as the barrel of it, like, sl- like slices your eyebrow. Like, damn when he it. Hits well, he's he distracted goes, by all this. Can I try to get the keys off him? Yeah. Or, well, actually, no, because the baboons have the keys. This guy just has a gun and his billy club. Get his gun. Uh, well, you have could the slice the wrist and take the gun. You can, yeah, you can attack him. Only him. one guard has keys. They're so disorganized. Oh, they are. They are truly. You can, you can uh, attack. Um, his arm, if you or his hand, if you'd like. Can I speak to the manager of the train about why only one guard has keys? Well, well, there, <laughs> there may be more keys though. Maybe just someone else has them. Maybe the the person who's in charge, like the actual management, has or a key. The baboons. Well, yeah, well the baboons do now, but then maybe there are other keys. Like maybe there's another key that someone else has on their person as well. Who knows? In that case, I really oh, yeah. need to speak to the manager. The baboons. Yeah. Okay. Up. Make a um, make a uh, what is it? A slick test to try to try to get some um customer service. Make a Karen yeah. test. Yeah. A Karen <laughs> test. <laughs> That's gonna be a five. <laughs> okay. That's so gonna you- be a five on Karen. Okay, so, so you're like, you know, you just really start verbally, you know, abusing this man and talking about how shitty this whole operation is and how. Well, okay, hang on a second. Hang on. Go back. Go tell mom to tell me then. 
We have to edit this in post. Anyway, so <laughs> uh, so you start just basically telling him this whole you know you've had enough of this dog and pony show and you want to talk to somebody you know from the top brass. And he groans. And he goes, "I got a bullet for you too." And he goes to he he cocks the gun or he like spins the revolver barrel thingy, and <laughs> okay, and he gets ready to shoot at you. But I will allow you to do. I will allow someone to intervene before he does this. I'm gonna take the uh, corpse of the old man and fling him forward. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You're gonna try to throw him at the bars Correct. of the yeah. or at the gun. Okay, make um a grit test to just throw this grab this guy and use him as a projectile. Improvised normally, weapon. Normally I would That's say that would be uh, I've got uh, like craft improvised tools and weapons. Is this an improvised weapon? <gasps> it yes, is. it is. Totally. Yeah, it, is. it totally would be. In that case, Ducky, no. a fifteen. Okay. You you hurl the old dead man at the gun and the it like slams into the guy's hand and he hits his his hand bones on the on the fucking cell bars and the gun falls out of his hand um leodora make a luck test sixteen the gun lands in your hands. Amazing. I'm going to point it back at him. Now I'd like to speak to the manager. <laughs> now I would like to speak to the manager. Exactly. Thank you. <laughs> Finally, some customer <laughs> service around here. He puts his hands up. And Does anyone know trembling. how to treat a lady? <laughs> he's trembling. He's like, Oh, I'll do whatever you want. Honest. <laughs> you stay there. Call someone in here. He goes, they ain't gonna hear me. He's like, they ain't gonna hear me from in here. Let's blow him away. By, by the way, as you, as he says that, you hear a door open and you hear <gasps> keys, keys jingling. Yes. He turns, he goes, oh, thank God. And he goes, what the hell? And you hear a monkey screeching. <laughs> <laughs> um, and, and the guy like still has his hands up in the air and he looks very afraid. And uh, several baboons start running at him. And he goes to try and run away. Um, you can shoot him if you'd like. Um, he's You're close enough to him to where you could just shoot him. Um, without having to roll other than for damage or you can let him go it's up to you i mean he's gonna get mauled by those baboons yeah i mean that's looking like what's gonna happen pretty much yeah that's he... way more fun than shooting him yeah <laughs> let karma just take. keep the gun let just karma take his total. Question is that <laughs> yeah he starts running and the baboons three baboons go after him and uh one of them is holding it's one of them is standing on two legs and it's holding the keys in its hand Shoot him in the foot, right? <laughs> yeah, well, so can't run. yeah. So he can't run away. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna take whatever tiny like discarded piece of that lady's toe might still be sitting around on the floor somewhere and yeah. like, hold it out and go. Can you okay. Do you, All right. a, do you want a nice toe? <laughs> oh, I'm gonna take there's plenty of brains smeared against this wall too, if you want to use that. <laughs> Yeah, baboons you, love you can, human brains. It's, it's a known yeah, fact. Yeah, you can scramble together some baboon treats for sure from all the body parts and things in there. Um, so make a, uh, what is it? Is it slick? Yeah, it's slick, right? To uh, animal either that or wits. Yeah, wits would be persuasive. Oh, animal handling. trying to deceive the animal. Oh, uh, animal. It's animal handling, probably, right? Yeah. Yeah. Which, Which is... I think, what are your, what are your skills, Leodora? Because you, I'm pretty sure you have, don't you have a skill that's like, Animal stuff, animal husbandry. Uh, no. Hmm. What are these skills? Um, I'm actually good at picking locks that would have been useful earlier. <laughs> oh yeah. 
that's Whoops. that's still <laughs> whoopsie daisy it's fine but no i don't have animal handling okay so just make it yeah just make a maybe that's why you're not a ranch hand anymore yeah um, <laughs> really <bad>. well <laughs> But make a yeah, I can make just a I, I think it's slick, so just roll slick and then add whatever your modifier is for that. Uh, it's gonna be six. Okay. So basically you just fail to get the baboon's attention. It's more focused on chasing this guy down. Um, so it joins its friends, and before the guy can get to the other car, they are on him and you you can't see him. Um, he's just out of view, but you can hear him screaming and the baboon screeching and it sounds like cloth being torn and skin being torn <laughs> and then eventually the man stops screaming <laughs> and chris you're free from your cell so you can do you can go where you'd like all right i want the monkeys to put my stuff back on me so i had a tin bucket some chewing gum some formal wear which i should probably put on well, Obviously. you don't have all your belongings back though, because that's in the separate part. We need to figure out where that is. Yeah, yeah, it's around here. So it's on the train somewhere, right? Yeah, yeah you don't. You just don't really know where. I wanted to instruct the baboons to free these. You get free, you guys, but not everybody. Okay. These uh, okay. these long apes in particular. Long ape. I like that. Okay, so so roll uh, roll to see if they can figure out. Well, they they actually you don't have to roll to see if they figure it out. They can do it. Um, I mean they've already unlocked one cell. They can do it again. So, or well, I mean actually I guess they've technically opened multiple cells. Um, so they the baboons come over. They unlock the door. Um, they peel back their lips and show you their gums just so you know that they're still you know nasty beasts if need be. And then they go into another car to cause havoc so uh nice <laughs> are you so you're letting all the prisoners free then right all the long apes nope not all the long apes because some long, okay. apes are long apes okay well you have some I people in cells that are like hey let us out man let us out trying to convince you guys to let them go or the baboon the baboon looks at them and then looks at you to, to see what you think i'm just gonna sh shake my head and i go so the baboon kisses <laughs> in its hand and then flings it at the at the bar at the cell with the other people in it and then just walks off and they're like ah gross <laughs> <laughs> baboon pissed what's your blood cow and you hear people that are like i swear we're gonna get out of here and i'm gonna gut you alive to the baboons and the baboons just don't even they don't give a shit <laughs> They'll eat you. <laughs> yeah. Don't give a shit because they already did. They'll tear your yeah, hands exactly. off. Exactly. Exactly. All right. So, so you guys are free. Um, you can go to, uh, like, if you guys are standing outside the cells, if you move to what would be like closer to the back of the train, that would be the animal cell area. Um, if you move to like closer to the front, um. That would be an area that you guys saw when you walked through where it was probably like some sort of like barracks or something. It looked like there were like beds or not beds, but, you know, like little bunks okay. for people. Um, based bunks. on what based on what we have seen and like which car what, like when we were still standing outside, like before mm -hmm. they loaded us on the train. Mm -hmm. um, we, uh, how many? is behind us and how many is in f the other way you know how many is one way and how many is the other way how um, many cars at least four in each direction at least four okay shit so we're gonna have to explore all of these to see if we can find our stuff <laughs> possibly yes <laughs> um i'm gonna look at the cow it's a, you seem like you got a plan <laughs> All right, what's next, Cal? I'm going to try to communicate my plan to them just through a moo. Okay. <laughs> Make a slick test then. Or wait, or, or, or wits, which one? Wits, probably, wits, right? Yeah, use wits. Because you're trying to, yeah, you're trying which to. Which one's higher? To <laughs> well, you have a plus one to 15. Okay, all right. Not 15. So, cool. So, like, 
you guys just there's just something about this cow like the way like it moves and speaks it's it's cow tongue like everything about it like you just really like you feel like you're vibing with it and you understand what it's trying to convey to you so like even with just a guttural sound like and like you know flicking its ears and wagging you know whipping at flies like you understand everything that it's trying to tell you this cow speaks words of wisdom yeah there's just like you really get it you've got something about it you guys just really understand um the hoodoo magician is right we should uh serious hoodoo damn right (laughs) so leodora what do you think about this cow um Right now, the cow seems to be smarter than every person in the room, so... Correct. Yeah, yeah. I agree. Yeah, the cow's got things figured out. Yeah, and, cow and, you're not, and you're not I so big. Like, and Chris, you're not so big that you can't fit. Like, you can move through pretty quick. Like, you chose a good cow breed because you can kind of navigate a little bit better than other cows would be able to um, in these cramped quarters. Now, in some areas, that might not be the case. Um, but currently, like the cars that you guys have been moved through, you seem to be able to, you know, navigate pretty well. So, what direction does everybody want to go in? Let's go to the next car. Okay. Uh, do you want to go back um, toward the from... toward the engine or toward the caboose? Yeah, caboose or engine. engine. We should head towards the engine. I feel like okay. the mission is to destroy this train, right? Like that's what we're doing. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So I feel like, yeah, let's head towards the engine. Is that what we're doing? Okay. Now all of the animals are kind of like, unless you tell them to do something, they're just kind of causing havoc. Um, Good. Let them cause havoc. I don't want to okay. rely. On you. That is what animals do, in it. <laughs> especially baboons. Yeah, that's true. That's just that's innate with like being a primate, you know. Let, it, 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 yeah. A, Don't I know a it? Harbinger of chaos. Um, all right, so the animals just kind of go wild. Uh, I want to let the baboons go first, and then let you know, and then just sort of go with the cow and see. Just let her lead. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I'm following the way of the cow. The way of the cow. The yes. way of the cow. Are you, Chris? Are you going in front then? Sure. Like, are you? Ha- are you the head of the pack? No, because like, if when we walk through there, if they see a cow, they're like, "That's fucking weird." It's a cow. They're not going to think there's a prison break. It's a cow. Yeah. So I yeah. should. It makes sense. Yeah. yeah okay. Let we'll the baboons open up doors and. Just yeah, that makes sense. Out. Yeah. Okay, so the baboons, they open, after they killed that guy, they um, unlock, or they open the door that leads to, like, what would be, like, the barracks or whatever, and they go in, and um, you hear them immediately start screaming, and you hear someone, like, another man start screaming, and uh, you can see the guy who had pulled the revolver on um, on Evan before, or on Burl before, he pulled, he pulls it on the baboon, or on the baboons and shoots one of them. Um, he shoots the one that had the keys and it goes down. And the other baboons scream. And let me let's see what's their. Let's hang on. Let me see what their morale is really quick. While while he's doing that, Leodora, you have a gun, right? Yeah. Okay. Well, obviously, I like we're near the back. I don't know if we can even see this yet, but like I'm just making sure that you picked it. I thought you said you picked that up, so I want to make sure we're. That fell into my hands. Nice. Oh yeah. So add that to your inventory. You have a revolver. Um. So the baboons, uh, they managed to hold it together and. Um, the guy fires off another shot. Uh, hang on. But he is overwhelmed by the other two baboons, and they quickly descend upon him, targeting his eyes, nose, and lips, which are quickly shredded from his body. 
And he drops another revolver. Excellent. So if anybody wants to grab that other gun, they can. Yeah. Um, um, yeah, so, Kevin, if you're if you're not gonna go for that, I'm gonna go ahead and pick it up. All yours, good sir. Right on. <laughs> that that was in character too. I looked over at him and said this. Yeah. <laughs> Firebug. Okay, with my good eye. Right. <laughs> right on. I wink in response and pick up. Oh, the that gun. ain't a wink. That's that's a disorder. A... <laughs> um. Also, so uh. There are, let's see. Yeah, there are multiple bunks in he here. There are 12 bunk beds, and there's a coffer beside each bed. What is that word? Um, it's like a little container, like yeah. a little, okay. like little cubby. Right. Um, there's Check also, all of them, there's also, right? They're also closest to the door um, leading uh, in the opposite direction of the prisoner's area is a big metal tub sloshing it's half full of dirty water <laughs> I'm going to ignore that and check all of the cubbies okay so let me Just whatever your word you said caskets <laughs> coffers yeah coffers yeah, just... yeah. <laughs> yeah coffers I need caskets but uh, coffers <laughs> Okay, let me look at the. Yeah. There's a table. Of course, there's a table for you to hold on. So hang on a sec. Yeah. Uh, roll 2d6. 2d6? Yeah, and then you'll have to roll that a couple of times. Right on. That's a two and a one. Okay, so first you find a ceramic chamber pot. Okay. That's why that was in a coffer, I'm not really sure, I'm, but... I'm going to just leave it there. <laughs> okay, use. it looks like it was handcrafted. Maybe this person is a, uh, you know, maybe they're like a potter like a pottery, or something. Pottery in, in their, yeah. In their, yeah, in their spare time. They're very um, particular don't... where they poop. Yeah. <laughs> or that. So roll again. <laughs> oh, actually, as you're looking at it over... You see scratched in the bottom part of it, it says mother. Okay, right on. <laughs> so if you want to add that to your inventory, you can. If not, you can leave I, it. I am going to leave it where I found it. Good idea. <laughs> um, I've got a one and a one. Okay. Uh, you find a coin purse, roll a d4. Oh, nice. Okay. One. You find one silver piece. One, okay. <laughs> uh, roll. Just uh, yeah, I'm taking that. All right. Roll two d six again. Three, five. You find, huh? A nondescript key. <gasps> nice. Definitely keeping that. And roll one more time. So many doors. Trying so many doors. Yeah. <laughs> uh, that is a five and a three. All right. And you find a harmonica. Okay. With dried cool. spit on. Um, all right. I mean, <laughs> it's the old west. I probably don't even know what germs are. Yeah, you don't. I mean, so doctors, fuck off. I'm taking doctors it. Doctors don't even really wash their hands. Like, no. Yeah, exactly. I'm taking it. <laughs> all right. <clears throat> okay. So uh, that's all that you guys really find in there. Um, <laughs> it just kind of smells like body odor. Um, mm. This is know. probably where the guards sleep. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so you guys want to press on? Uh, well, I kind of need to stop. Okay. Here, all right. Can... Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's fine. Right on, man. Yeah, that's cool. I just saw that it's almost 11. Yeah. So uh, this was our first session of Frontier Scum. Some interesting things happened. Um, I hope that this was enjoyable for everybody. It was enjoyable for me. I like the system. I think it's pretty easy. Yeah. Um, yeah. Does anybody have anything they want to add? Or um, I have one question about sure. my skills. 
Sure. Um, does my uh, my like pain tolerance because of being branded? Does that have anything to help as far as my the damage I have taken? Um. Yeah. Does like it? If, yeah. I mean. Um. I'll say. Yeah. I'm doing like. My, I'm trying to understand the way these skills work, but. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's kind of. It's kind of. It really is sort of ambiguous. They don't really give you. Yeah. Like, a it's just a pain way. tolerance. Is all it. Is all I. Well, uh, uh, it how, helps on uh, being miserable or something. Like advantage on that, that, that makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. So okay, so not right now, but it could in the few, it could help um, if I take more damage. Yes, I would say like cool. if you started to if you if something was going to happen to you to drop you to zero, I would right. say maybe you could make um, a test to see if you can hang on for one HP or something like that. You know what I mean? Cool. Because right now or, I'm at or stay conscious or or maybe stay conscious long enough to do one more thing, like one more oh, thing yeah. before you. Pass. Right now yeah, I'm at four like HP. Yeah, you've taken some damage. At least you weren't shot. <laughs> or yeah. Off or you weren't hit. <laughs> anyway, my uh, face ripped off. Yeah, or your face was face or genitals were ripped off by baboons. Um. So anyway, so we will reconvene in whenever everybody is free. Um. This will go on YouTube. Uh. Whenever Kevin gets around to it. And does anybody have anything they want to plug or talk about before we go? Uh, monster I know I don't. What's like, that? Monster, monster Mashers. Mashers. Yes, Monster Mashers. Yes. Where, wherever you get your podcasts, you should listen to Monster Mashers. Um, the, well, you guys recently, didn't you have one about, um, you had one that was very topical about OJ Simpson recently, didn't you? Yeah, we did. Yeah. Yeah interesting stuff that's not all that they talk about they normally talk about well i mean oj arguably a monster to some <laughs> not a monster to others you know just depends on yeah. what you you know how you feel about it um but uh okay yes uh anything else anybody got anything anybody uh sell any organs on the black market or or on the craigslist or facebook um Facebook uh, town hall, not town hall. What is it? Yeah, market flea market place. marketplace. There we go. Um, I, I do right, sell well. organs on Facebook flea market. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I have a circle yes. of kidneys right now. So if anybody wants them, they're still fresh. A couple days are going to go bad. So act now. But they're fading. Yeah, they're fading fast, though, people. There's only so long we I can keep like them in a, a styrofoam chest on my porch before people notice them more the dripping organ? down. Would you can you can you ferment an organ and get drunk from it or would you just get terrible botulism or like blood poisoning?